We have a Kendall. <laughs> um, we will be your hosts for today. Uh, <laughs> um, Allison's got the mic to pass around um, if you would like to verbalize anything. But like I mentioned before, we do have the Etherpad going. Um, would love to he would love to see any feedback here, hear any feedback from you here um, about how your week went. Um, I can't believe it's over already. Yeah. Also, fill out the survey. Yes, yeah, we put the survey link up there as well. Um, definitely wanna, want your feedback there, but um, yeah, we can maybe start going through it a little bit. Um, City, we love it. And thank you to Nils for being our sort of poster child uh, for the video um, that we played. Um, super fun. <laughs> yeah, Berlin's been awesome. Um, we do love this city um, and this venue. Um, I, th I also thought it was the right size and clearly the location was better than Messe. Oh, yes, yes. Not having to take a train for like 40 to 60 minutes was awesome. <laughs> um, venue staff was great. I, I feel like there's so many venue staff running around. Um, and yeah, the bag size thing, it seemed like most people didn't have any problems with that. Um, more outside space. Yeah, the tent took up a lot of the outside space. Um, but that Marantis, thank you to Marantis for doing the beer garden. That was a great addition. Um, saw that busy quite a bit. Anything else on venue? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Yay, thank you. I've liked it too. We, we never get that feedback at Summit, so hearing the food is good is uh, a fun one. Oh, the luggage this morning. Yeah, we kind of assumed, we, we did increase the size of that, assuming people were gonna bring some bags. Um, sorry, that wasn't better communicated. Um, anything else verbally on venue, city? Kind of getting to more of the detailed stuff. Sweet. Okay, keynotes. Uh, missing some news. <laughs> I'm glad potatoes came up. Um, this was part of your day. Do you want to explain it? Uh, I mean, we were just all tired and awkward <laughs> in the like green room, and we're like, Okay, uh, Mohammed, I think, suggested, like, what if we all put the word potato in our talk? <laughs> and so it then became a game to, like, see how you could work it in. But I was one of the, like, first people, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to think about it. Otherwise, I feel like I would have used the, like, meat and potatoes thing that Stig ended up <laughs> using. But, yeah, it was just, like, a way to entertain ourselves and, and alleviate some of the nerves, I think. Um... As far as like missing news from the last OpenSAC releases, we did or are going to do, I think we're going to do a, an open info live episode soon for the, the OpenSAC releases thing. But I know um, there was a call that was put out for um, project updates and then we are going to create a, a like YouTube playlist and a, oh, and a segment fault playlist basically so that people in, China can also access them. Um, and so I think we had our first like soft deadline uh, call for those um, was two weeks ago, I think. But we have another one after the summit because obviously there are a lot of people preparing and too busy to get that done. So um, uh, keep an eye out for a, an email update from Sunny, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was from you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, on that, and, and we'll make sure to promote those as much as we can. Um, so if you're interested in OpenStack and we're uh, not so satisfied by all the information, that, that's why. We do have a plan for it. It wasn't just forgotten, I promise. Yeah, good, good point. I've got this one now. Okay. Sweet. Anything else on keynotes? All right. Sessions, yeah, the, the, so obviously it's a, the right size venue, but that means that there's not that many rooms to work with. So I know the hallway noise was definitely an issue. Um, I think we've got some ideas for if we have that in, in the future, um, how to mitigate it a little bit. Um, project updates again. Yep. I, we, we were actually talking as a staff this morning about um, the content piece and uh, creating s some additional uh, review processes to make sure that the orders make sense and um, the overlaps are a little less. I know there was some of that issue as well. Um, it's always, the schedule build is always a complicated part of the puzzle, but I'm always wanting to tweak it. So I yeah. um, appreciate that. 
any like anytime we publish a schedule, if you take a look and you see something that's like kind of, uh, I don't think that that's going to work, uh, please let us know because we do try to publish them far enough in advance that if you take a look at them, we have time to make those adjustments. But obviously when it's like the day of and like 45 minutes before the thing starts and like, oh, I can't be in two places at once. Yeah. That's a, that's a little late to be trying to fix things. We can push it like later in the event overall, but that like, it's, it's still hard. So as soon as we publish those schedules, please take a look and, and help us because it is a very, very difficult problem to solve. Yep. I'm glad you like the stage. I also love the stage. Um, oh, here we got one. Yeah. Um, so I do have a feedback, which is also a little bit of an uh, apology. I do want to address the lot of noise. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how is it solvable, but the problem wasn't only that the noise is coming from outside, but after the session when there are like the uh, um, um, question um, parts. So what happened yesterday, and I'm very sorry, Matthew, because I was the crazy one who actually just started shouting at other people <laughs> because the session was still going on and I couldn't even hear the answer to my question. Wow. Because uh, after 30 minutes or something, like half of the room stands up, starts to talk, and uh, go out. I do not know what is a good solution to this, but maybe some more organization around the sessions or letting people know that it's still on. We have, uh, uh, you know, five more minutes. Please sit down, uh, yeah. stay seated. You know, this might help. Yeah. yeah. Or if you're planning on leaving early, try to sit towards the side or the back so you can get out quietly and just be conscientious of those that are trying to pay attention to the session still. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool, anything else on presentations before we move on? Yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. I've missed a couple of summits, but uh, I vaguely remember that presentations were normally longer. Yeah, uh, yeah um, that was... That was an adjustment we made this show. Um, they were 40 minutes. This is the first one that we were testing out the 30s. Um, also because we were doing a three-day show instead of a four-day show, and with the, the small number of rooms, we were just trying to maximize how many speakers we could accept from the CFP. Did you, did you like the 30 minutes versus the 40? It was a challenge. Was it? OK. As a, as a speaker? Yes. Yeah. 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 OK, that's good to know. Okay. Anybody else? No? Okay. Forum sessions. Yeah, the overcrowding, I, I apologize for that. The rooms are, are a little small, and I know there were some popular sessions. We did do some shuffling um, at, during day one um, because of we knew, we knew there was some popular stuff coming up. So apologies yeah. if your talk got moved, but um, hopefully it helped it go a little smoother um, and help you have a few more folks be able to join. Yeah. I know the, the etherpads thing, that was definitely, so I historically have not start to finish organized and run the forum. So the, the etherpads thing was definitely a thing I had meant to do, but I was not on top of this time. So that was 100% my fault, I call that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we do have a, a wiki that we're collecting them into. So if there was a session that you were attending and they did have a wiki and it's, or, uh, they did have an etherpad that's not in this wiki, please, add them to it and thank you so much to everybody that has already done that and whoever the pink is that said that they added them by hand oh, I, yeah. I really really appreciate that help because <laughs> otherwise it's just me doing all of it so like group sourcing oh open sourcing the efforts you know we're just practicing what we preach yeah. in every way but yeah i i definitely that was my bad did you, for the, for the forum, um, did you find much overlap there as well? Or was it mainly, mainly with the CFP that the schedule overlap was happening? Okay. 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 Yeah. Yes, microphone. So, so it was, am I on? Maybe. Um, yeah. There you go. You're good. Okay. Um, it was across the two. Okay. So, like, you would want to be in a, a presentation. Or you, you know, but that would conflict with the form session, and then also, also it, I f ran into the problem where we would all be in a room for one session, one form session, and then we would all have to go to the other room for the form because the subject, like, it, it, we needed to look at like the arrangement of the rooms. Yeah. I think. Yeah. 
That's good to know. And you, you and I talked about it this morning, so I think we've got some ideas to, to help clean that up a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Anything else on forum? I feel like it was a success, personally. Yay. I had a really good session yesterday, and even the Meet the Project ones on Monday was good. So hopefully people had similar experiences. <laughs> we, we had at least one forum session that I attended with no developers present. Okay. So it was not uh, a terribly useful session. Okay. What, out of curiosity, what session was that? I was uh, Load Balancer as a Service. Oh, okay. I do know that, um, like, the Octavian designate people that would have been there to help with those. Like, there are almost none of them here right now. It was the same thing with the Cinder team. If they would have tried to have a, a session, it would have been really hard. And I think that that will get better for the next round just because a lot of companies still have travel restrictions and had to get exceptions to get here. Yeah. And the exceptions that were given out were uh, very minimal. <laughs> so so they all of those developers weren't able to make it this time. So sorry about that. <laughs> okay, cool. Marketplace, not a lot here, but I uh, this was also an experiment. We're, we're always trying out new things. Um, <laughs> But I thought it looked, I, I hope the sponsors are happy and thank you to the sponsors uh, for being here and supporting the show. Yeah. Um, looked like everyone was pretty busy throughout the week. Um, and it was kind of nice that you didn't have to go find that. It was just all right there. But, yeah. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad that was enjoyed. Yeah. Cool. That one seems short and sweet. Anything verbal? Sweet. Lounge areas, we had a lot. Another huge thank you to the sponsors. Um, it yes. was great to have um, so many lounge options. Um, some far away, okay. Yeah, the contributor corner, it, it's, it's a weird space. <laughs> we didn't know what to do with it, um, but we had gotten a request from some of the teams that you know, haven't met in a t couple years and we're hoping to have sort of PTG style meetings. So that was kind of our solution to that. Um, I definitely, we used it for speed mentoring. Um, I know I saw people just working back there, which was totally fine. Um, yeah. I was hoping people would just use it however it was needed. Um, Maybe something we look to continue doing and we'll advertise it better next time. Yeah. Um, yes, the light in this building is amazing. There's like natural light in almost every room. So I agree, that's awesome. Um, a relaxing area separated. Um, is, the, is this one just more like an outside area? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Anything else? Yeah, Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yes, network works. Thank you, Woo. F and Tag. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any issues. Me um, either. That's awesome. Uh, I did just, well, I noticed one thing. On, on our badges, it didn't have the Wi-Fi information. You had to scan the QR code. So, like, if you didn't um, have it, we should probably just put that on there separate from the QR code. Yeah. <laughs> we, all, we did have signage um, throughout the building. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you were trying to do it right away, that's, yeah, that's good feedback. Yeah. Cool. Um. Uh, Okay. Yes, the food. All right, the food. I hope you're getting some right now for lunch. Um, yeah, there was food all day long. It was crazy. Um, yeah. And so good. I don't think I had anything I didn't like. I, yeah. I actually, I never eat at Summits, and I ate, <laughs> I ate all the time here. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, good. I'm glad the labeling. We did have, you know, we always have the, um, the specialty meals. I hope folks were able to find that. It, the labeling was fantastic. Um, <sighs> spritzers. Yeah, <laughs> spritzers and the juice. Yeah, so good. So many options. I've never had smoothies at summits. It's it's a good improvement. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't promise this level of food every time, so no. don't don't. We'll fall. just have to keep coming back here. <laughs> All right, health and safety, good. I'm glad uh, this was, I mean, obviously this is the first year we're dealing with this. Um, so I'm glad there's um, positive feedback here. Was there anything people wanted to talk about that isn't written um, on this one? Yeah, yeah Mohammed. Maybe having an area where it's like a mask free area for people who are comfortable being there that way. Sometimes it, you just wanted like a, a break. Mask break. Yeah. yeah. And, and that was like a bit hard because you felt uncomfortable that you didn't want to like put people in a weird position. So maybe just having like a mask free yeah. area or something like that. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely something that, you know, as things change constantly, you know, we'll obviously keep an eye on it and, and see what happens going into both the PTG and Vancouver. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I'm, 
run warm. So it's been warm all week, so I agree that it would be nice to be able to take it off. But we did think that the Marantz Beer Garden would be kind of a nice option to be able to step outside, but yeah, the smoking, um, I understand. <laughs> cool. Anything else on that? Sweet. Tooling, you want to take this one? Uh, sure. Um, it oh. sounds like people are requesting the ability to bridge people in via Jitsi, Zoom, yeah. Google Meet. Um, this gets expensive <laughs> if we try to do like a really good option for it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's definitely scrappy ways, but I know it's not usually a good experience for the virtual attendee or the, the in-the-room attendee. So it does... Oh, the Slack yeah. call worked? Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. There's like... Uh, Obviously, um, these tools, like, you know, we have our, our community meet pad, you're free to use that and try to, like, make that work yeah. if, if you want to. But as far as us providing the infrastructure, it gets hilariously expensive really quickly um, to do it well. Yeah. Um, and, like, if, if we're going to do something like that, we, we want to do it well, <laughs> obviously. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's not all that different than you just trying to figure it out on your own. Um, obviously... People that bring their own microphones, if you want to do that, you can do that. Um, I'm sure we all have purchased nice webcam stuff and, like, whatever <laughs> throughout the pandemic. So you're, like, welcome to bring those things. We do recommend that you would use something that isn't banned in China if you're actually trying to <laughs> incorporate yeah. um, the, the larger community. So Meatpad is a good option. Um, Zoom is okay, but obviously that's proprietary, and <laughs> there are some companies that are like, no, hard yeah. pass. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's, it's always a struggle. Yeah, it is. All right. Anything, what about, um, I guess we can maybe include schedule here. Does it, did the online schedule work for everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there uh, is. Further down. Okay, awesome. Uh -huh. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, cool. Well, let's jump to that. I can't find it. Here. Oh, felt like a regression. You missed the app. Okay. Um, app just felt like a website. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, da -da. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to read all through all this. <laughs> Please hold while we parse. Yeah, the, so the, the full talks, um, the fire codes are very strict in this building. Um, so it was definitely more of a fire code situation that we just were not allowed to let anyone in the room once it hit capacity. Um, like even like letting people sit on the floor was against the rules. So um, yeah. we ended up doing one in, one out on quite a few rooms. Um, well, it wasn't quite a few. There was a handful. Yeah. Um, but definitely apologize if you weren't able to get in a session. We will have the recordings online um, within a few weeks. Um, yeah. And so I, I definitely encourage you to go out and watch any ones that you missed. Um, but I hope that didn't happen that often. Um, do apologize for that. Yeah. As far as I know, there was only one forum session that this was, it was a the problem. The large scale SIG one is the one that yeah. it, was, it was just packed. Yeah. Um, it's a popular one. Yep. <laughs> the large scale SIG is a, a large scale group. <laughs> and, and I think some of these that we were flagging, like if, if we know it's going to be like that, I think it's something that we, again, like as we're working through our content tweaks for next time, um, yeah. just making sure that they're going in bigger rooms. Even if it is a forum session, maybe we work it into um, a bigger room to, to avoid that. So it's def definitely something we're thinking about. Yeah, it's funny because they like we were all worried about bag sizes, right? Yeah, and we we're like, oh no, that's gonna be the problem. And then it was like the number of people in rooms. Fire codes. <laughs> you can never guess all the variables <laughs> that you're gonna have to deal with. Yeah, yeah, we. Uh, it was definitely hard not having the China community represented. I know there's a ton of others that weren't able to make it. Yeah, um, the visa process was harder than we anticipated. It really as was. Well. We had a there was quite a few visas that just didn't get accepted. Um, or that the timeline was unrealistic to be able to get here in time. Um, yeah. So that was out of our hands, but um, disappointing and frustrating for sure. Yeah. The F and Tech team is awesome. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Noisy lanyard. I that it's a first hit for that one. I've never. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. That totally. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, that's hilarious. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> we will definitely do noise checks next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, a merch shop. Um, yeah. That I I like this idea. I like. Yeah. I mean, we've yeah. I know other shows do it. 
Um, and yeah. I know everyone loves their, their swag. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll think about that. We'll see if we can work it in. Maybe for Vancouver. Yeah. I can... Okay. Any, yeah, what else we got? Anyone else have anything they want to talk about in this other section? Yeah. Oh, sure. So I, I did a comment about the, the calendar URL. So I think... The, oh, sorry. I don't know if you've covered it. Um, so that, that was... I thought that was oh, very useful because I, I was oh. adding sessions to my okay. to my schedule and then it was on my phone and but laptop the room calendar, wasn't but there, there was no room information. Okay. So I would always have to go back to the website to check which room there uh, okay. it was. Okay, that's good to know. And I, I think it's just uh, in the ICS generation, you just have to add the location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a good fix. And yes, the official shirt is awesome. I love it. Oh, yeah. It's been really fun to wa see so many people wearing it um, after they were distributed on, um, on Tuesday. Sweet. Cool. Anything else? I mean, we kind of went through that pretty fast. Yeah. See you in Vancouver. Yeah. So excited. And like scroll back to the top. We also, we also have the PTG coming up in October. Um, Who's planning on being at the PTG? <laughs> People are putting some stuff in the chat. <laughs> oh, it's um, in the chat. Yeah, so it says QR codes for long links and signage or billboards for sessions outside rooms. Okay. I'm sorry, say that last one again. Oh. S signage or billboard for sessions. Okay, uh, like, like with the schedule on it? Okay. Well, okay, so what's happening yeah. in that room? Okay. And what, what long links? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, for presentations. Okay, okay. all right. Thanks for clarifying that. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, that's definitely a thing we can recommend to like speakers yeah, putting it's a good things note. together. Share presentation links on schedule. Uh, I mean, I think oh, <laughs> we don't force our speakers to have their slides like weeks in advance and stuff. Yeah. So that's something we we can add like later. We typically have them send it in, and we'll we'll get them added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those get compiled later. But it, in case you haven't had a, a talk accepted at our event before, yeah, we don't require you to have your slides. <laughs> You know, two, three weeks in advance, it's not it, part It will of never it. happen. Yeah. <laughs> We're realistic. We also rewrite keynotes the night before. So <laughs> we understand that it's like a, a, yeah. an ongoing process. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Anything else? Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is not a critic at all. I just want to thank you guys again for organizing uh -huh. this thing. I really like coming back here. This is the first time when I don't do anything open, stacky, or cloudy. But uh, what I really like, along the years, this conference became much more serious, less hyped, and uh, really focusing on the community, on the contribution. And I think this is super cool, and uh, I don't think we appreciate it enough. So thanks again for organizing oh, Thank it. you so thank much. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And while we're doing thank yous, um, we've mentioned them a couple of times, but thank you to Fintech, seriously. Yeah. You guys were awesome. It's so nice to be back. It feels like a family reunion. Um, we also <laughs> wanted to thank, we had our PR teams here. Um, we had t uh, Kathy Co and Speakeasy. Um, Tippett has been incredible as well. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for, for making it all work. Um, am I missing any thank you? Sponsors. Sponsors, yes, I mentioned <laughs> that. And then obviously the foundation staff. Um, yeah. yeah, it's uh, we're, we're a small team, um, yeah. but we are mighty. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, it was fun to finally be working on a show again and yeah. to see everyone's smiling faces. So We had a plan to bring like the foundation staff up on the keynote stage just so you could see how tiny we are because we're like <laughs> literally less than two dozen people now. And we do all of this with your help and support. Like we couldn't do this without the community. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, and yeah. honestly, the, the programming committee, too. I mean, that's, that's a oh, huge, yeah. huge effort. So anyone that helped with that, thank you, thank you. Yep. Um, if you are interested in the next one, we'll be reaching out soon, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It never stops. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Sweet. Thank you all. Thank you Thanks so much. <laughs>